What's good guys? It's your boy Justin J coming to you with another video. Let's cook boys, let's cook. All right, handsome men's game and why older women prey on younger men, especially if you're handsome and select. So you always have to be extra careful out here, guys, when you're dealing with older women. Let me explain. Guys, when you're dealing with an older woman and you're very handsome and select, you're that dude, you might have a lot of things going on or you might not have anything going on at the time. Older women are gonna flock to you guys because they're trying to pull the wool over your eyes. They're trying to give you that representation of who they are when they first meet you. They're trying to make a good first impression. They're trying to like put this show on for you, right? To make you see them in a more positive light. But here's the truth about an older woman, guys. In her younger years, when she was more pure, you know, and she had more to offer with her fertility, she fucked that off, guys. Like she went and had her fun or did her thing or focused on her career, as they tell a lot of women to do now. The agenda tells a lot of women to do now. So when women, you know, act on this, you know, later in life, they look for dudes. But to no avail, because dudes at their same age, right? They've already bossed up in life a lot of the time, a lot of them. So, you know, when you actually boss up as a man, you're actually going to partake in younger women because now you have the status, the money, the looks to do so because you've spent time building yourself up. But see, when a woman needed to cash in her chips in the younger years, no, she decided to ride the CC. So now here she is meeting you and you're very handsome and select and you're good with women. So you're thinking this is another notch under my belt. This is another horse that I'm going to put in my stable. No. Guys, you're really gonna wanna steer clear of older women for the most part, because unless it's going to be some sugar mama situation, older women are set in their ways. So yes, guys, recreational use only. You can have fun with an older woman, but do not take her serious, guys, because as a man, you can go get a woman that can give you healthy kids, a woman that can give you her purity, guys. Understand that. Go younger. Don't go older, guys, because see, here's the thing. As a man, you grow wiser to then give information back to the world. Understand this or information back to other men, right? To make them better. But see, a woman, when she gets older, she intakes all of this information, right? That's pretty much one sided and really doesn't use it to help anybody, just kind of stands on it. Or if it's like toxic, that's the advice that they'll give out, but really stand on that, guys. And that's where that comes from. When you're used to doing things a certain way for a period of time, over time, over time, over time, it's consistency. But with that consistency will bring resistance. A woman is used to doing things her way consistently over and over and over again. So why would she switch up for you? Of course she would if you're that dude, but nine times out of 10, even if you're that dude, sometimes they can't help but bring that resistance, guys, because it's just ingrained already. You have to understand this. So there's nothing wrong with messing with an older woman or, you know, having fun, having a one night stand or just taking a woman out to, you know, have a drink or two. An older woman, that is fine, guys. But when I mean take them serious, I mean exclusivity, relationship talks babies, all that stuff, getting married, all that stuff, getting engaged, hitched, whatever. Cut the bullshit, guys. Older women prey on you. So here's another thing, guys. If you ever see an older woman and she's a smoke show and you think in your head, wow, she's 41, wow, she's 30 this, wow, how is she still single? Red flag, red flag. When a woman is a good quality woman, a good quality pick to become a wife, right? She gets taken off the market early, guys early like 22 23 early guys understand that always understand that guys if she doesn't have kids this is another thing you want to pay attention to because when you're handsome and select right and you got game this is another part of it your game's got to be super tight because your game could be whatever you know it could be medium game like it's not perfected yet and you're getting with her thinking like yo i'm that dude all right, strap up because if you don't, you know what's coming, right? Because listen, if you get with a woman that's anywhere from the age of 28, 29, 30, all the way to like 35, and you're very handsome and select, and you push boyfriend energy, I know in the videos before I said, if you push boyfriend energy, it repels a woman. This is nine times out of 10 going to be with younger women or women that still have their looks intact and have a lot of options. But if it's just an older woman like 35 and beyond, I don't give a damn if her looks are intact. Guys, if you know that she's big on you like that, be careful. 
because she will try to trap you guys because their biological clock is like, it slows down, man. It slows down. That's why women get nervous around that time when they turn 30 and they're like, oh my God, like I got to find a guy or everybody in their family's like, well, when are you going to uh, get a guy to start bringing to Thanksgiving and Christmas? Because that's why they feel bad about it because everyone around them knows the shit. Guys, you have to understand what women say Take that shit with a grain of salt. Like, don't take it serious. Like, when a woman tells another woman, hey, put your career uh, put your career first and put everything on the back burner, girl. Go get your degree, girl. You go, girl. It's like, no, 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 no. You're really hurting that woman, guys, because the greatest gift a woman can give a man is a healthy child. Remember that. So if you ever get caught up in a situation and you figure, like, this older chick is acting really weird, like, as if she's plotting on me. Yes, guys, she's banking on you. She's banking on you. Story time right now. 41-year-old chick. Met her in a pub, right? We met on like Instagram through the DMs. We met at a pub, right? This chick was instantly all over me in front of everybody. Smash that night. Smash that night, guys. Listen to this. Story gets better. So we smashed that night, right? At her place. So I guess like her father was not accepting of black people. You know, the R word. I don't know if YouTube will cancel me, whatever. So, you know, her father didn't like black guys. So she, I get a FaceTime call of her crying. Crying like my dad did, blah, blah, blah. you can't come back over. I said, Well, good thing I got an apartment, so you can come here when we when it's time to get busy, you can come here, it's not a problem. Yeah, but do, 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 do. whatever. So, fast forward, right? Where um, we're in my bed, and I had 12 unread messages in my Instagram. She tells me to open up my Instagram DM so she can see, and I'm like, Are you serious? Because we're not exclusive. So, I'm like, What are you doing? No, I'm not opening. Matter of fact, leave, get out. She starts having a mental breakdown. Like, I chose you over my father and I thought we were gonna work and I'm 41 and when am I ever gonna find love? And I'm literally sitting there like, whoa. Okay, we gotta get her out. Exit, stage left, because this is gonna go wild at any moment. I'm literally thinking back to it right now. She started bawling her eyes out and I was just like, holy shit. That was like one of the first experiences I realized Dude, older women are banking on you. And you're just thinking that you're just doing things, you know, going with the flow, having casual sex, like it's no big deal. Guys, yes, it's a big deal because they're banking on so much. Because you as a handsome select guy are like, you're the last ride. You're like that last bus that's coming before like all buses stop running. You're that last bus, guys. And if she don't hop on and you don't let her stay on the bus, She's done, like she knows she's done or she doesn't know when another dude like you is gonna come about. This is why this is going in handsome men's game. Because like any other random Joe Schmo, yeah, yeah, yeah. But when you got like good genes in your family, you have good genes. Like a woman looks at you and thinks like, this guy is fucking handsome. His dress game is on point. His charisma is on point. You know, his swag is on point. All that type of stuff, guys. You make a woman feel these feelings and shit, she's banking on you. And this is why a lot of dudes end up trapped. They get chicks pregnant that are older, and now she really controls the tempo. You understand? But, see, this is why a lot of guys run away at the same time, too. Because she knew good and damn well that this man right here wasn't ready for all that. But she was plotting on him. And what do women always love to tell you when you get caught up in a sticky situation? Well, you knew what you were getting yourself into. And to a certain extent, that is true. But it's still malicious on her side because she had you for a certain reason guys remember this is why i always say when you come into a woman's life if she don't like you like that even if she do like you like that there's always some sort of role for you to play it's only when a woman respects you like that that there's no role to play she's all about you trying to be on your program not trying to hurry up and and get things to happen because you know she went and fucked off her 20s and now that biological clock is just like you know it's coming it's coming, it's coming, it's coming, and then it's gonna be over, like your shot is done. That's why a lot of older women, they say, you know, typically like after 40, they really give up, man. Like, tip, like 38, 40, they give up. They're like, you know, I'll never have kids, so what's the point? This 41-year-old chick I just told the story about said that exact shit. Like, I never wanna have kids and da-da-da-da-da and blah, 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 because it's too late for me now, so why were you banking on me? Why were you banking on me? Guys, I'm telling you like this, women wake up and feel a different way every day. So a woman can tell you, hey, this is just casual. I like what we're doing this one day. You're blowing her back out the next day. And then the next day she thinks, hey, I think we should talk. And you're like, about what? So, you know, I know I said I was into doing the casual thing, but you, do you think that there's a chance that we can 
have exclusivity between each other because like I don't want to share you with anybody else. And you're going to be like, wait a minute, where is this coming from? Because you said, yeah, I know what I said, but I've just been thinking a lot about it lately and I can't share you with anybody else. You're going to hear all types of goofy shit like that. But here's another thing. Never have sex with an older woman who's not like, she's not asking you if you have a condom. You should already be putting it on. But guys, if it seems like she's never going to ask anyway, guys, strap up, be careful, protect yourself, guys, because that's what they're banking on. They're banking on you to think with that head instead of this head. And when you think with that head instead of this head, you get fucked. And by the time you're realizing that you're getting fucked, it's too late. You cannot undo it. Understand this. This is going to be especially for my younger men. Understand this because you as a young dude, you got no life experience. You understand? They make MILFs and Cougars and all this shit seem cool. So you think it's cool. You think that you're literally getting an opportunity at some great shot or like you're getting something so great when realistically she's getting something so great. She's about to get some young dude full of energy, you know, super happy to be in the moment where that's blowing her back out, giving her good energy. She feeds off that energy. And what do you get? A chick that's been used up and is still, you know, on the shelf. She's still playing the field at like 30 something, 40 years old. Guys, understand your worth as a man, guys. If she's a smoke show and she's pretty hot, all right, guys, you can have fun with her. Like I said, but you always have to be careful because older women are banking on you being dumb. They're banking on all the, like all the other information that they've intake and they, you know, they process and they say, you know, this works on 90% of men. You know, I always get my way when I move this way. You have to be the guy that stops all that shit, guys. No matter if like she thinks that you're with it, you hit, you leave. And she's like, okay, that did not go according to plan, right? Or whether you just shut shit down from the rip, like let her know this is how it's going to go. Like, no, 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 no. But either way, guys, you have to know and differentiate a chick that's really down for you and a chick that's not. Because nine times out of 10, an older chick is going to come to you with this representation of who she wants you to believe she is. But the whole time she's plotting on you to get the drop on you. Understand that. And I know it sounds really messed up, but that's how it is, guys. Trust me, I know. That is exactly how it is. And here's the thing too, with older women, right? You're gonna try to get with an older woman and if she's not into you, she's gonna be telling you, you gotta do this, that, this, that, and the third, this, that, and the third. Never believe any of that goofy garbage because if that was true, do you know how many guys were, you know, able to give her a good life that she's met, you know, in her 20s and her 30s? She didn't want that guy. She didn't want that guy. She wanted to play the field. So when she sees you, you know, and here's the part that I always tell guys, it's not really always about the money too at the same time. See, an older chick is going to make her own money, her own money, you know, the master's degree, all this stuff, right? All this status, all this shit, right? So when she deals with a younger dude, she can control everything. He has nothing. You understand? That's why a woman will stop looking for an older dude that's on her level because they don't want her or she just can't find one. But see, they're not gonna be able to control that guy who has his life in order. But the young dude who's all over the place trying to figure himself out, you know, of course she can control him and she can honestly help him, help him, like give him that illusion that she's helping as like he's getting older, you know, but she's really not helping. She's just benefiting guys. Women are always going to flock towards men who they can benefit off of. So like even with the whole friend zone, you're going there because they can benefit off of you rather than just discarding you and getting rid of you. You understand? So it's the same way like an older dude, you know, rather than like keep trying over there or whatever, it's like, okay, I know I can't really benefit. So I'm gonna move over here to the younger dudes where I can benefit. You understand? So when guys say, no, I'm not accepting the friend zone, that's why a woman nine times out of 10 will just leave you alone because she knows that she cannot benefit. Guys, you always gotta pay attention to this shit because see, handsome men's game. A lot of guys walk around not knowing that they're handsome and select and will fall into this trap. Guys, when you think highly of yourself, you're gonna be on the lookout for everything, guys. Defense, like, guard up. You're gonna be like, yo, wait a minute, why is she moving fast like this? Wait a minute, she had all the time to move fast with somebody. No, 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 you need to be taking it extra slow. We don't even know each other. You know what I mean? Older women will rush things, guys. Like, one minute you'll be having sex, the next minute she wants to, you know, 
get to know you, like asking all these deep personal questions. And next thing you know, she's like talking about a relationship or, you know, guys, here's another thing too. If you do get into a situation where you do slip up, right? And you buff, right? And you buff, pay attention to her reaction. Pay attention to her reaction. Like, you know, pull out game gotta be a hundred, but I don't care if you buff inside or outside, pay attention to that reaction. Like right as it's happening in front of you, pay attention, focus up. If she's not really getting mad about it, like, you know, like, oh, don't do that again. Like, yo, what are you doing and shit? Just know she's trying to have you lined up to get comfortable doing that. And if you do it one time and you do do it inside her, she's going to want you to act like she doesn't like it, but still allow you to keep doing it. Always remember that. Do not trust older women, guys, because they got a role for you to play, too, because at that point, it doesn't even matter if she really likes you like that. You know, in, in, in nine times out of 10, like women don't really respect a lot of men. So it don't even matter if an older woman likes you like that. It's like, yo, she still has to do what's best for her. Understand that. That's why women trap men with kids too, because, you know, sometimes they'll be like, yo, I want to be out here living my life. And, you know, I don't want kids or kids would hinder, you know, my party days and all this goofy shit. Right. But once they hit that, like 27, 28, 29, 30, it's kind of like, yo, here's the funny part too. A lot of dudes don't even be handsome and select. They'll just take whatever they can get because the biological clock is ticking down. It's the final countdown. Da -da -da -da. Da -da 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 -da. God, I'm telling you, they start going crazy because they understand. This is exactly what I mean. When a woman is doing shit and putting plays in order, she knows exactly what the hell she's doing. But she's pulling the wool over your eyes like... I didn't mean to, and I didn't think that that would happen. And da -da 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 -da. yeah, she knew. She knew. Understand that, guys. That's why you got a lot of kids that grow up without fathers because that chick went and got pregnant by a dude who she knew damn well. Like she knew good and damn well he was not ready for this. He did not want this. Typically, all the time, guys. Like this is how it happens. Like guys never really want to leave their kids like that. You understand? But a lot of that shit comes to from a woman who sought after this younger dude or this younger dude who sought after this older woman, they got together. This freaking idiot was thinking with his, you know, instead of his big head, he was thinking with his little head, you know? It doesn't make any sense. And now, you know, he just don't want to deal with it no more. So he bounces. He's young. He's like, yo, I got my whole life. And guys, I already know nobody's going to agree with that. People are going to think that guy's a coward. I understand. But you always have to understand why these things happen. And you have to understand and learn from others' mistakes, guys. Because if you don't, You'll just fall down the same rabbit hole of bullshit mistakes that other men already went through. Other men already got the results to show you like, yo, if you go left, this is what's going to happen. If you go right, this is what's going to happen. So you don't have to make these same mistakes. This is why I make these videos so you know that you are him and they are them. Same concept, guys. If you're a younger dude, put together, you know how to articulate yourself. You know how to catch a lot of dates, set a lot of dates. You know how to, you know, be in a crowd of women where you can actually like go up to women, talk to women. Guys, there is no reason for you to be dating some older woman unless she's bringing some sort of benefit to you while you're having casual sex. All this exclusivity talks, let that shit go. It's really no service to you. It's a disservice. Because you mean to tell me some 40 year old chick in 20 years, couldn't find one good quality dude. I'll wait. One good quality dude. Fuck it. Two good quality dudes. Because if something didn't work out with that one, so she had to find another one. You don't think in 20 years. Stop it, guys. So always remember that when you see an older chick and you're like, yo, how are you still single, God? Damn. Just know there's something wrong with her, guys. It's like the clearance section in stores. You ever go to like a Marshalls or like a TJ Maxx? or like a Target or something, you'll see things in the clearance. You'll leave the store, come back a week later, that shit's still in the clearance. You'll leave the store, come back two weeks later, the shit is still on the clearance rack. You'll come back a month later, it's still on the clearance rack. You'll come back two months later and you'll be like, oh, cause it's gone. Walk to the back of the clearance section and be like, oh shit, it's still here, I thought it left. You understand, that's how it is, like when a woman is still on the dating market, in the dating market, guys, like, yo, especially if she's a smoke show. It's like, what, what, no guy saw any value in you? Can you cook? Can you clean? Can you fold laundry? Can you iron? Like, can you do anything? Can you flip a pancake? Can you make an egg? Like, what, what's going on here? It doesn't make sense. You always have to move like that. When you move 
like you think highly of yourself, right? As a man, like a man's man. So you would be expecting a woman to be a woman's woman. That's instantly going to throw off red flags instantly because you're going to look at yourself and say, hey, I bring all of this to the table. I provide this along with I automatically off rip have to be the protector. You know what I mean? And what does she bring to the table? Nothing, nothing. But, you know, she looks good. Her ass is pretty big and all that goofy ass shit. So remember, and there's another thing. Older women have been having sex. Oh, that's what I'm saying. Older women for these last like couple years, whatever, they've been having a lot of sex. So you ever wonder why when you get with an older woman, it feels like, yo, what the fuck? Like, yo, I thought I was having sex, but like, yo, this is sex because guys, she's been around the block. She's putting the best sex on you because she's hoping that you fall in love or you fall into this trap, these feelings, and you buff. I'm telling you guys, you got to even be careful about them poking holes in the condom, all types of shit. So when you hold yourself like to a higher status, like, yo, I'm that dude. Yo, even when older chicks be like testing you in public, you're going to be like, yo, you ain't even cute no more. Cut it out. Who's letting you act like that? Get out of here. You know what I mean? Don't be like, oh my God, she, she's this and that because how did she maintain her looks for 40 years? And blah, 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 blah. Yo, shut the hell up. That shit is out. It's cut. You can have fun with older women, but never fall into the trap, guys, because this is the bait and switch. This is, you know, their strategy to get a child out of you, to get your genes, to get your seed. This is why semen retention and being sexually disciplined is actually very important, guys. A lot of guys need to know this shit because when you're not sexually disciplined, an older woman is gonna throw it on you. She gonna keep throwing it on you. Might even buy you things here and there while she's throwing it on you. But really, guys, she got a role for you to play. And if you have really good genes, I'm telling you right now, and you're spending time with her, and you might even be like in the car driving somewhere, and you just see her look over and she's like, just like looking at you, analyzing you, Guys, just know what time it is, guys, and be extra careful. Because like I said, even the dudes that are not handsome and select, they try to lock them down and trap them with babies and, and trap them in all types of feelings and goofy ass games. So you being extra handsome and select. And young guys, I'm talking, you know, young is like, even when you're in your 30s, late 30s, like you might be 41, 42, 40, I'm talking about that still too. You're still young. You should be dealing with some like, if you're 43, you should be dealing with a chick who's like 28, 26, 25, 21, 19. I don't care. Guys, the younger, the better, guys. Because think about it. You're going to mess with an older chick to have casual sex. Who would you rather be getting the casual sex from? Let's just keep it a buck. So always remember that, guys. You know, older females prey on younger men that don't really think with the big head first. They think with the little head. Understand that. And it's very important to know what you're doing out here in the dating scene, because if you don't, one slip up, guys, one slip up, and it cannot be undone, guys, and you'll be stuck with this chick, like, you'll be tied to her for life, whether you don't talk to her or not, like, you're still going to be tied to her for life. So always understand that, guys, take yourself serious, do not be out here moving with the little head, always think with the big head. It's your boy, Jocelyn J. Get with your boys in the next video. Like, comment, subscribe. Let's go, boys. Let's go.